Hello, welcome to the DASL Rotocraft tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll be covering how to connect your Ardu pilot, uh, or how to do the initial configuration for your Ardu pilot um, for use on a traditional helicopter. So, at this point, I'm assuming you've uh, downloaded and installed the APM mission planner. If not, I have a few instructions on how to do that on the accompanying tutorial. I'll leave, there's a link in the description if you found this video on YouTube. Um, but make sure that you have that installed and also make sure that your receiver is bound to your uh, transmitter. Um, there, the, uh, you should be able to find instructions on how to do that in your uh, in your transmitter's instruction manual. So in order to get started the first thing we need to do is open the APM mission planner so I'll load that up here. All right. Uh, first, we need to make sure that the correct serial port is selected. Yep, and that's that's the one it is for mine. So we'll just close that. Um, now, don't hit the connect button just yet. We need to go to the initial setup page. Click install firmware, and we need to install the ArduCopter for helis, as you can see here. So I'll click that. I already have it installed on mine, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it, but you would go ahead and just click OK, and it will install a fresh version for you. Give that a few seconds to, uh, a few seconds to complete. Once it's done, we can then click the Connect button. OK. We then want to go to our initial setup page, and we just need to go down the list. So frame style, uh, as you can see, heli is in the plus style box, so we need to make sure that is checked. Compass, we're not using that just yet, so we'll go ahead and skip that. Accelerator, accelerometer calibration. Uh, you, it's pro it is a good idea to go through this if you haven't done it yet, so maybe before you mount your uh, Ardu pilot you should go ahead and do this. Uh, the instructions are pretty clear. It will tell you step by step how to calibrate. You need to set the you'll need to set the Ardu pilot Ardu pilot on each of its axes um, and hold it still uh, uh, for each step and then uh, the instructions will progress through there but uh, it's not that bad of a of a process. Hello everybody, I'm back. Um, yeah, I had a I had a slight issue with the wiring on my uh, on my vehicle with the last tutorial or with the last video attempt. So I've straightened that out, um, replaced the bad wire. Uh, so let's just go through the th through the proper radio calibration procedure again. So again, check our throttle. So throttle up, throttle down, pitch. For, push the pitch stick forward. That causes us to pitch down, so that's pro that's right. Pull the pitch stick back. That causes us to pitch up, so that's correct. So we want to roll left, roll right, yaw left, yaw right. Uh, we switch our F mode. No, this is actually on the flaps switch, so this is flap position zero one, two, and auxiliary two all the way low and all the way high and low again. Uh, auxiliary two is, in, is particularly important because we will be using that channel we will be using that channel for um, for our throttle control when we come there so make sure above all else that that one's working so oh finally the the gear channel so I'm turning that on and off and as you can see I have that set up if, if you look at the if you look at the top of the screen up here that switches me between stabilize and acro mode so make sure you take note of which switch position that's in uh, when we go into acro mode but we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute uh, so let's actually go through the calibration procedure so yeah we want to confirm move all their sticks to the extreme positions and then move them uh, to their to their neutral position. So you're going to want to make sure 
that when you do this, all your trims on your radio are set to zero. You can probably hear, I'm sure you can hear my me doing that here, uh, setting the trims to zero on my radio. So I'll click all right. Okay, so just move them all to their maximum in their minimum positions, like so. Any channel that you intend to use. Just do it a couple times to make sure that that you really do that you really do get it. So don't forget your auxiliary channels as well. Because those are going to be important too. Okay, so I want to end the calibration. So before I do that, I want to make sure that everything is neutral. And I want to make sure that the throttle position is set to zero. And it's going to tell me that right now. So there we go. I'm going to calibrate that one more time because I wasn't happy with how the throttle one came out. So again, up, down, and all the way around. Okay, switch them all, all your auxiliary switches up and down, and center the sticks and calibration. Done. Flight modes uh, for these tutorials, so if you want to follow along with me, I recommend uh, flight mode 1 being stabilized and uh, flight mode 6 being acro. So if you switch the radio channel, you can see uh, the gear channel will actually switch our will actually switch our flight modes with the with the current wiring. Um, and after I save this, you can see so in gear position 0, that's acro mode, gear position 1, that's stabilized mode. Um, you could rewire it so the actual flight mode channel on the radio is corresponds to that, but um, I think the gear the gear position is a little more comfortable to reach, so that's the one that I chose to use. All right, um, and that's that should conclude our video for the initial setup of the uh, of the Ardu copter. Thank you.